the wedding ceremonies which uh, are being conducted now this is the wedding uh, season and uh, representations have been received by the government and uh, the honorable uh, prime minister the honorable finance minister also have got uh, number of representations from various sections so this has been considered by the government and it has been decided that uh, the for marriage for wedding ceremonies which are going on uh, up to 2.5 lakh rupees will be permitted to be drawn from the bank account now naturally again these accounts will have to be kyc compliant accounts and there has to be drawn one per marriage and it can be drawn either from the account of uh, the father or the mother or the account of either of the you know the boy or the i mean uh, those who are getting married so and uh, let me complete please and uh, these accounts uh, naturally will have to be subject to kyc there has to be pan uh, details uh, mentioned against the cards and a self declaration also will be obtained that the money is being drawn only from one account because it is possible that in a family there will be multiple accounts by the parents or by the son or by the daughter so therefore it there will be a self declaration and it is our expectation that uh, the people will adhere uh, to this uh, norm people in our country are generally law abiding and uh, our expectation government's expectation is that people will abide by this uh, rule by this condition and uh, but nonetheless just to enforce and to implement it effectively a self declaration will be obtained as you know the in the uh, we have these apmc markets mondays as i mentioned so the traders who are registered with the apmc markets they will be permitted to draw rupees uh, 50000 50, 50000 per week and uh, like business entities we have already the government has permitted that business entities also are enabled are permitted to draw 50000 rupees per week so similarly the uh, registered uh, traders with the apmc markets also will be permitted to draw 50000 rupees per week because they have various uh, a uh, sundry cash requirements of uh, payment of wages on a daily basis to the workers and other sundry expenses so this will facilitate smooth procurement process in the mandis and will help the farmers to sell their produce without uh, any difficulty and uh, these accounts of the traders registered traders naturally will have to be kyc compliant accounts i would like to mention that all the cases we are government is very particular that these accounts will have to be kyc compliant